trailing stop order. This tutorial will show you how to place a trailing stop order in two case scenarios when you have an open long position and an open short position. A trailing stop order is very effective at managing risk and optimizing profits. The trailing stop is not generally used as an entry order but rather when you already have an open favorable position which is accumulating profit. Its main benefit is threefold. First, it allows you to secure profits. Two, while securing profit, it doesn't place a limit on potential profits. Three, while securing profit, you are at the same time setting a limit on potential loss. In this way, you can ride a trend while having an effective exit strategy in place. Here's how. Let's look at the first case scenario when you have an open long position. The trailing stop is set at a predefined distance from the instrument's current market price. In the case of a long position, the stop price is placed at a fixed distance below the market price. Let's say that you have bought stock in company XYZ at $500. The price is currently at $600. You would like to secure this potential profit and keep accumulating more while minimizing your risk. So you decide to secure part of your current potential profit and set a trailing stop at $20 below the current price. Keep in mind that the distance needs to be big enough so that small price fluctuations do not result in premature trade execution, but small enough so that it doesn't consume all your potential profit. As the price increases, moving in the direction of your order, the trailing stop increases and keeps its distance of $20 below the current price. Say at $700, the price changes direction and starts to fall. If the price falls and reaches the trailing stop limit at $680, a sell order will be executed at this point. This is how the trailing stop order allows you to keep accumulating profit until the market turns against you. Now let's look at the second case scenario, how to set a trailing stop with an open short position. When you have a short position, you set your trailing stop at a fixed amount above the market price. In this case, we have sold at $500. When the current price reaches $400, you decide to set a trailing stop buy that will keep its distance of $20 above the current price. As the price decreases, the trailing stop also decreases, keeping its distance of $20 above the current price. Let's say that at $300, the price changes direction and starts to increase. If the price increases until it reaches the trailing stop at $320, a buy order will be triggered at this point. 